Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you a little bit how to do the setup and the trellis for interlocking filet crochet center out in the round. I've already created the pattern. I'm testing it a little bit today too with you so there might be errors in but that I will fix it and you will get the right pattern. As you know I'm a fan of Knit Companion so I already downloaded it or installed it on my uh, app and this is what you see when you first see it on um, uh, Knit Companion and if you go to the first page you see the abbreviation and so on there's some new things in it it's not that difficult if you go to the second page it is the if you see it it's the width I will turn that page so we have it like a nice pattern here and you can zoom in already here if you want to check your work because I wouldn't advise to crochet from interlocking from a chart some can do it I would say keep it uh, keep the text but keep this for reference and that you can check your work if you say well that looks weird you can always see if the graph if the chart is a little bit similar to your work it takes a little bit time to load because it's a big pattern as you see it will come there see now it's not with text but it will come let us wait let us wait let us wait 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 and there you see the chart is there so you can check your work if it's okay or not okay why don't the letters come i don't know sometimes the pattern is a little bit more graphic there they come i'm a little bit impatient it's probably my tablet is full with uh, shit i don't need um uh, page four you have a little bit of the setup this is what we're going to do together uh, a little bit of a picture tutorial photo tutorial about the trellis see this is the trellis how it looks like this is when you weave it in and page five we finally start with a written pattern um interlocking and uh, the overlay mosaic you get it from in the round and this pattern also goes row to row so if you're not a fan of in the round you go to this one and then it's normal interlocking see you have one set up a chain and so on and so on so if you're not a fan of um, uh, interlocking filet crochet in the round then you're going to do um the normal one which is on page 11 and i will make give you a little index but we're going to start with round one and you see in the dark color all even rounds zero is not considered that even it's a weird number but you can consider it as an even it's also in the dark background uh, you will see the text then you see the color changing to a lighter color that means you do in the light color and then you see round two it's a dark color again it's an even number so you do it in the dark and it says light f that means the yarn of the light goes in the front i will show that to you but then you, that's a little reminder to put a light color in the front of your work and not at the back of your work and it shows how to weave and so on and so on um okay Okay, well, we will start with around the trellis, and I called it round zero. I could have called it two, one, or three, it doesn't matter. But this is round zero because it's not really a round, it's just crocheting something and setting up. I will start with a chainless setup that's different from when you do a chain, but I wanted to show you how easy it is. You can still just chain your trellis and do it according to the picture. Uh, but that's to you. I prefer a chainless setup, so I will do that today. I have my favorite hook um, crochet needle is downstairs, so this is my second favorite, which is upstairs in my uh, office. Okay, well, I hope you will learn something from this tutorial. Leave comments if you, you like, um, if you say you could change this or could you emphasis dear that or could you show me to do that i will try to do it all uh, and see how i can um help okay